Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet, it is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to come as quickly as possible to find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends! Holy shit! That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. 
And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> who does not know of her, sir? She has such a wide circle that everyone knows your mother from a distance or closer. Everyone knows Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England and that she always honors her engagements. However, we have never been personally introduced, sadly. Well, if I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Sir, do you know Emily Hillsborough? Oh, Madame la Duchesse. Of course, it was I who invited her to the island. In addition to mutual business we wanted to talk about, I absolutely wanted to introduce her to Lord Mortimer. Do you know of any link between her and my mother? Not really, no. They may well have met at the court of King George, but I can't be sure about that. No dispute between them, then? Not to my knowledge, no. And even if Duchess Hillsborough is a complex woman to understand, I honestly can't imagine her in a conflict with the famous Sara de Ricci. <gasps> no! Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Miss, can, can you hear me? Leave me. Stand back, please, so she can breathe. Elizabeth is accustomed to this kind of thing. It looks like it's just a dizzy spell. Can you tell me something about her? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment? That's right. 
The sea air can do wonders. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. <sighs> Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? I sing it de la bestia. The sign of the beast. He's referring to the tattoo on her hand. Yes, Your Eminence, I saw it. I don't know what the young woman has been through, but she is marked for life. It is the least one can say. You know the meaning, don't you? Protection against the evil one. It is a rare practice reserved for cases of possession, Louis. I have seen it during exorcism. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> You seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir so, Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Damn, can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. 
preached the conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio, St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Excuse me, am I bothering you? 
No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I'd better hurry. <laughs> 